These are alpine strawberries that have self-seeded here. Birds have dropped them and the, uh, the fruits are a yellowish white and taste like pineapple. And one advantage of them is that birds can't see the fruit, so you don't have to protect them. Um, in the front bed here I have uh, leeks, not yet mature. Um, this is heliotrope, which has a delicious smell like uh, cookies, um, used as a source of essential oils for perfumes. And my dogs love to snack on these, even though the books say they're poisonous. Don't seem to be doing them any harm. It's their favorite thing to eat. Uh, this is a plant called Tigridia, Mexican shellflower. It was one open yesterday. You'll probably see one later today. They're gorgeous. Uh, these are um, edible pinks related to carnations that have a, a clove scent. Also can be flowers used in cooking. This is valerian, um, source of the sedative. The root is the part that's used. Wonderful corn, uh, which is now just making ears. Be ready in maybe three weeks. Uh, this is a variety called serendipity that I found that, uh, that Nori and I have found works best in our climate in our zone. Uh, this is horseradish, which I established uh, a year ago. It's, uh, you know, people say once this is planted, you can never eradicate it. Uh, horseradish clears the sinuses. It uh, liquefies uh, bronchial secretions. Great if you have chest congestion, and um, I just love the flavor. I have a... Uh, Lone eggplant and pepper here. I mean, they struggle in this climate, so with luck, they'll mature. These are beets, some of which are almost ready to uh, harvest. Yeah, they're rich in, uh, in phytoprotective pigments, fiber. Uh, tomatoes, again, it's a tricky up here figuring which varieties do best. Uh, this year, I'm growing a lot of brandy wine tomatoes, which I think have the best flavor, and they seem to do well here, although they mature late. And this is shiso, the uh, green shiso, Japanese. It's in the mint family. Um, get it with sushi and pickles. It's got a very distinctive taste. Uh, nasturtiums, edible flowers and leaves, spicy. I, I, like, I don't usually use the leaves, although I decorate them, but the flowers are good. Related to watercress.